Hello everyone. Welcome to the course Manufacturing Processes 1. We are talking about unit number 5, sheet metal working. In this video, we will discuss the concept of center of pressure and we will see a numerical example. This topic is very important as far as university examinations is concerned. In previous university examinations, there has been a question on this concept as well as numerical example also has been asked in several previous examinations in previous years. So what is center of pressure? When sheet metal part to be blanked is of irregular shape, the summation of shearing forces on one side of the center of ram may greatly forces, exceed forces on the other side. This results in bending and undesirable deflections as well. So, we need to maintain the center of pressure according to the geometry being cut or sheared. So, center of pressure is basically a point at which the summation of shearing forces will be symmetrically in other words, it will be symmetrical. In other words, it is the center of gravity of the perimeter of the blank, not the area of the blank. I repeat, center of pressure is a point at which summation of shearing forces will be symmetrical so that uneven forces will not result bending and desirable deflections. In other words, we can say it as Center of pressure is the center of gravity of the perimeter of the blank and not the center of gravity of the area of the blank. Keep that in mind. So there is a simple procedure to find the center of pressure. We have to divide the cutting edges into different segments. Say for example, if it's a rectangle, we can say it like this is the first cutting edge, second, third, fourth and so on. So we can distribute, we can divide any geometry, any cutting edge in different sections like that. So find length of each element L1, L2, L3, L4. Then we find center of gravity for each element. That is we try to find out its distance from the origin. X1, Y1, X2, Y2, X3, Y3 for each element. So x1 will be the center of gravity in x direction for element 1. y1 will be center of gravity in y direction for element 1. Then we calculate center of pressure from the given formulae. Center of pressure in the direction of x would be equal to summation of a product of length of the elements and their center of gravity for each element. So length of this element 1 is L1, center of gravity in the direction of x is x1 plus a product of length and the center of gravity in the x direction for element 2, L2, x2 plus length and the center of gravity in the direction of x for element 3. So it becomes a product of length into center of gravity L3, x3 and so on divided by the total length or summation of lengths of all elements. This can give us center of pressure in x direction. Similar formula for y we can utilize and this can give us center of pressure in y direction as well. We can consider length of element 1 and center of gravity in the direction of y. So L1 Y1 plus L2 Y2 plus L3 Y3 and so on divided by the lengths of all elements. Summation of lengths of all elements will give us the center of pressure in the y direction. For semi-spherical geometry, it, the center of gravity in the y direction, center of pressure in the y direction could be 2R upon pi and for other geometries as well, it could be like this. Let's see an example. Similar example has been asked in previous university examinations as well. Here we have been asked to find center of pressure required for cutting force. 
for the given blank. So this is a type of blank. So we can divide the cutting contour in different elements as here in the basic strip we have divided the blank into number of elements from here to here element 1, semispherical element 2, semicircular element 2, from here to here element 3, from here to here element 4 and last is 5 and this circular blank complete we have considered as element 6. So there are 6 elements we have. We have calculated their lengths based on the given dimensions. You have been always given the dimensions and related data in the examinations as well. So if we try to calculate the length of element 1, 2.5 plus 1.5 gives us 4. For element 2, the length is 4.71 the perimeter of this semicircular geometry. For element 3, we can determine the length of, of hypotenuse using Pythagoras theorem based on this length and this height. So likewise, we got 3.2. We need to calculate the lengths of different elements and considering here the origin of the geometry or considering here as the origin of the geometry you can consider any point at 0 0 as the center and start considering as element 1 lies exactly on the y-axis and it has 0 distance from the y-axis so the center of gravity of element 1 is 0 but it has distance about the center of this element 1 would be somewhere here which is half the length that is as at 2 plus 4.25 is the total length so total length becomes 4.25 plus half of this that is 2 6.25 so center of pressure for element 1 in the direction of y would be 6.25 in the direction of x would be 0 and the product of that would be 0 whereas the product of length into y component will be 25. Similarly for element 2 as well we can determine center of pressure in the direction of x would be at the center of the semicircle which is nothing but 1.5. Likewise, we can calculate the center of pressure as the measure of distance from x-axis and center of pressure in the direction of x as distance from y-axis and the product of those with length and summation of those can be utilized to calculate center of pressure in the direction of the whole blank in the direction of x and in the direction of y. So this geometry summation of length into a uh, product of length into center of pressure in the direction of x length into center of pressure in the direction of y comes around 115.98 divided by total length of all elements 18.98 gives us in the about 6.10 centimeters whereas for x it comes around 1.89 centimeters. We can also calculate the cutting force as we discussed in our previous video which depends on shear strength, thickness of the material and total length. Total length of the cutting edge is 18.98 millimeter. Thickness has been given already 2 millimeters and the shear strength of the material has been given 40 kg per millimeter square. So, Cutting force required to cut this geometry in this whole blank would be about 15,184 kgs, whereas center of pressure would be at a distance 1.89 centimeters in the direction of x from y, and center of pressure in the direction of y would be at 6.10 centimeters in the direction of, uh, sorry, distance from x. 
So this is how we calculate the center of pressure. Thanks for watching this video.